and welcome to LT Outdoors, the channel with everything the outdoor world has to offer. Sun is coming up, vibe is going down, fish are all abiding and jumping all around. Let's hook up the boat, come on, let's go, it's time for LT Outdoors, I'm talking LT Outdoors, might go hunting, fishing, metal detecting, might even do a little fortune too, I'm talking LT Outdoors, I hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. Today I'm out here with my buddy Cy and uh, we're doing some digging. Um, Cy, he's really good at doing this. You know, we've been talking about getting together for a couple years now and uh, I'm happy I did because we've had a good day. Yeah, we have. <laughs> so yeah, we've both found some really great stuff and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Yep, quarter, 1964. That's a good year. Cool. Not quite sure on this. Wow, it says Canada. Oh, patented Canada 1939. Not sure what that's off of. Pretty cool find, though. That's a really old shotgun shell cap there. Remington UMC, which I believe is a military round. Sure shot. 20 gauge. Yep. That's cool. I'm out here hunting with Cy and he just found this, uh, what is that? It's a button. I believe it's for, uh, it could be for uh, it could be like a, <laughs> used in a lot of different ways. Yeah, it looks like off of a jacket maybe. Yeah. Um, but as you can see here, guys, hopefully it shows. It's 1931. Maurice's. I know that company, but I've never seen a Maurice's button that old. That is very cool. Yeah, neat find. What do we got here? Looks like a dog tag, maybe. Yep, <laughs> I'll be darned. I haven't found one of these in a couple years. Nineteen sixty. Beeville dog tax. 
Dang. That's uh that's pretty neat right there. That's a cool find. Oh, I'll be darned. First lure for the day. Hope I didn't mess it up. Oh, it's already messed up anyway. Sucks is there's no way to fix these. Because the hooks got messed up, but yeah, that's a buzz bait. I know right what that is. Very cool. Wow. Yeah, I can't remember on the dates when they quit in 1964. So that's got to be silver yeah, then. 1946. It don't look silver, but I have silver. never seen the. That's the oldest quarter I've ever seen. Yeah, check that out, guys. So I just found a 1946 quarter. Sometimes you gotta get messy. <laughs> I was just talking about this last night on my live, guys. One of my favorites to find, other than. Uh, Cleo's and it should be stamped Detroit. This is a daredevil. Classic daredevil too. Yep, Detroit. That's actually the classic color. I'm shocked that it's still intact. That's pretty cool. Yep, daredevil USA. I can still use it too. I can put a split ring on there and she'll be ready to go, but I'm not. I'll hang it up and Add it to my collection. That's a bullet. That is a bullet. Big bullet. Might be a homemade lure or an earring. That's a neat find. Well, battery just died when I was digging this one, but um, I'm pretty excited. Even though it's not a weedy, it is an old um, King George. 1945 Canadian that's cool I'll take that I always like finding even the Canadian change I love finding yeah. here's a leech crawling around on the bottom there pretty good size one too it'd be good uh, good bait for walleye quite sure what that's for oh it's a, a lipstick case cool
we got here. Quarter. Oh, 77. Dang, hoping for some silver. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I might, this might be a tackle box dump or something. Nope, that's a coin. What we got here? This looks good. Is it a nickel? I think so. It's got the beaver on it. It does it? Yeah. No, then it won't be silver. That's still a pretty cool find. What is this? What is this? Ah, it's another smushed. <laughs> ah. I thought I had something big, but it's another smushed penny. <laughs> oh, another smushed one, huh? Yeah. Nineteen sixty-five. Checking my shovel pile here, and I still had something in there. Canadian. Nineteen sixty four. That's a shiny one. Another weedy. Another 1960s Canadian. Wow. I've never never seen so many Canadians in one day. Oh, nice. That's a medallion. Yeah. Bend it, or what do you want to call it? Yep. That's, uh, I think it's a St. Christopher. Is that what it is? I believe so. Yep, pretty sure it's St. Christopher. Very cool, man. Wow. Black, too. Those are the good ones. Oh man, that is so gorgeous. Sweet. Yeah, very nice. It says right? Yeah, it says on the upside here, it says the word right. So. 
That's my friend used to live in that big house. Really? Yeah, well, that big one there. Yep. I'll be darned. He's a doctor, actually. Well, his dad was a doctor. Huh. Yeah, check that out, Jordan. <laughs> that might be from you guys. That's crazy. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. I think I got the other half of his toy. I think I got the other half of your toy there, Cy. Si. Your toy? Oh, yeah. it looks like the back <laughs> shotgun cap this one's pretty cool though it's got a like a star shape on it Remington UMC 12 gauge new club never seen one like that Cool. Always like finding these. But it's a Zippo. Cool. Old lighter. this is I know what this is guys it's my first one of the year get a load of that nice oh that might be gold 10 carat 10 carat gold oh man that is cool second dig of the year and I get up a nice gold ring Oh man, that is so awesome. <laughs> hey, another weedy. 1944. Sweet, I will take it. Very nice. Another weedy. What do we got here? 1940. It's like a 48. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, battery died as I was digging that up, guys, but that's a 1939 Weedy. So, got another Weedy. Hell yeah! Good! What is this? Molar Manufacturing, Greenville, Mississippi. Turn tight. Hmm. Not sure what that's off of. Got here. That might be a tag for a log. All right, I want to show you guys the stuff I found today. I'm a little bummed. Um, I actually, as you'll see in the video, I found a lot more wheat pennies. I'm pretty sure than what I got here. Um, we'll see in the video, but. I'm almost positive I had at least 10, and uh, I'm guessing they fell out of my pocket, along with, um, well, no, I guess I still have that. I thought this was a cool shell. I've never found one with a star on it. Shotgun shell head, so, I don't know, maybe, maybe it was only six, but I swore I had more than that, but, yeah, lots of cool stuff. Some of this, I don't know what it is, but I always end up with some of these. Just really cool little, what I call, what's hits. Yep, very neat. I'll research some of this stuff. A lighter. And, uh, yep, bullets. I always like finding these. It's a pain to find these little round balls, but it's always cool when I can. Pennies. Man, I was so excited about that nickel. I thought for sure it was silver. But it's uh, just one of those Canadian nickels with the beaver on it. 1963, it looks like. Quarters. Uh, I think this was my oldest. This is 64. Um, I did find three. I had three Canadian pennies. Uh, this was the oldest. Which I always like finding the ones with King George on it. Because they're old. 1945. That's a good Canadian find. Uh, here's six wheat pennies. Um, not sure. 1939 might be the oldest out of these. There's a 46. at 39 is the oldest today and obviously this is the best find of the day hands down gold it is not very often that I come across gold uh, I'm not sure if I can get it to zoom in there where it says it but yeah, it does say 10k in there Oh yeah, pretty 
pumped. This is really neat. I believe that's copper. Somebody made a homemade spoon. I've never seen one like that. Super tiny. And of course, I got the uh, old-fashioned Daredevil. Detroit. Lipstick case. Yeah, a lot of junk. Always in the garbage, but you know what? Had a lot of cool finds today. Had a lot of fun out there with uh, my buddy Cy, and we found some great stuff too. Almost forgot to mention this in the video. That's a cool dog tag right there, 1960. Yeah, thought that was neat. This is uh, B Isle Dog Tag. Look that up. I guess back in the day they were called dog tags instead of dog tags. <laughs> Very neat. Well, this is pretty crazy, guys. Uh, I I actually had to look this up. I thought it felt weird. I thought it looked weird, especially compared to all the other quarters. That is a silver quarter. 1964. That was the year that they were silver. I had no idea. So here, I had silver all day, and I didn't know. So LC Outdoors is brought to you by <laughs> Widowmaker Lures, Quality Tungsten Jigs, Cowboy Coffee Chew, Cup in a Pinch, Northland Fishing Tackle. Check them out online for a huge selection of lures. Wellman's Bait and Tackle in Oscoda, Michigan. Crooked Bend, Quality Food Plot Mixes. Drake Clothing Company, Quality Outdoor Clothing. And Heavy Metal Custom Lures awesome jigs and a great selection of plastic and don't forget about shelly shirt shack where all the lt outdoors merchandise is made send him to davy jones locker